This episode of Pixels on Info is brought to you by WeMedge TV. Support the scene or there be no scene to support. Ramp Chump, Unicorns, Unoob.net, and Planties. Coming up on this episode of Pixel.info, using iChat to control Final Cut. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Ekin. WeMerge is a magazine for any artist trying to get their work known, poets trying to have their words heard, songwriters wanting to change the world, and anyone wanting to get into the local scene. Have no fear, you don't need a following to make it into WeMerge. Just simply head over to WeMergeTalent.com and click on the Get Featured tab, and your work just might be featured on the next Who's Next spread. Check it out at WeMergeTalent.com. And remember, support the scene or there'll be no scene to support. Hey, welcome to another episode of Pixel. I'm today's host, Pedro. And today, we're going to be looking at how remote editing has become easier with Final Cut 7. Streaming previews is accomplished with the new iChat Theater option. This very useful feature is a great way to show off the latest cut to your clients. This option essentially feeds your Final Cut Canvas screen to the iChat video message. Let's check out the workflow I use when performing an iChat remote edit. Hello? Hey, uh, for that last render, uh, I think you misspelled Facebook. What? It actually says Facebook. What? Hey, you! Remember to spell check before you render! Punk ass Now, it always helps to get a higher frame rate when trying to perform a remote edit. Editing across the network is never fun, but sometimes necessary, especially when trying to complete a deadline. When combined with remote access software like LogMeIn, iChat can use a more powerful machine to edit off location. To do this, we activate the remote software on the remote computer. Off-site, we'll log in and activate iChat on both computers. Using two different iChat accounts, we'll message the host computer through Final Cut. To do this, we'll start off by going into Final Cut, under View, iChat Theater, and then we'll activate it by hitting Start. And once activated, go to the iChat Buddy list and connect to the control account. On the control computer, accept the invite. Using a second monitor, you can drag the iChat video screen over. OK, and now we have a better frame rate to remotely edit to. Punk ass OK, and that's how you control Final Cut with iChat. Now I know that's not the best editing experience, but on a deadline, it does get the job done. And that's it for this episode of Pixel.info. Make sure to leave us questions and comments, tweet, and Facebook us. I'm Pedro, and that's it. See you guys next time. Coming up on this episode of Pixel, using I A. <laughs> All right. Hey, that now it is a stop. I'm a fan. I'm a fan.
can't even read that shit, man. It's like really fucking bright, dude. You're like, oh, let me go all the way. Hey! <laughs> Sponsored by Unoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Ekin, 